stationary points a stationary point is a point where tangent to the curve is horizontal and hence gradient is zero at that point hence gradient is zero at that point stationary point can be it can be local maximum local maximum local minimum or we can say stationary inflection which we will discuss in the further lessons stationary inflection stationary inflection or stationary point of inflection <coughs> let's consider this sketch of the curve a rough sketch on a particular domain uh, maybe negative 6 to 8 somewhat like this or we don't need to show with arrow here and points x-axis y-axis and the points let's say this point is P there's a negative 6 and negative 3 and Q is negative 1 and let's assume 5 and um, M is 2 and let's say y is somewhat like 0 0.5 and s is 6 comma 8 and the domain let's consider the domain domain is 6 to 8 yeah so this is the domain of the curve any curve f of x y is equal to f of x any curve okay now over this domain the point p point P we can choose different color point P is known as local minimum uh, sorry over this domain point P is known as global minimum global minimum why because the least value of y on the entire domain because it has least value least value y on the entire domain on the entire domain q q is known as local maximum why local maximum we will learn the conditions also because the gradient at this point f dash x is equal to 0 and the gradient changes sign if you look at this point if we look at this point on the left side of negative 1 and on the right side of negative 1 on the left side of negative 1 the gradient changes sign gradient changes sign so on the left side is positive on the left side oh sorry on the left side is positive on the right side of negative one the gradient is negative so gradient changes sign from positive to negative so therefore this is the condition or the rule or the test to identify the stationary point if the gradient changes sign from positive to negative in the neighborhood of this point that means that particular point is local maximum and the curve shape of the curve is like this okay now point m at point m point m we can choose a different color point m is local minimum local minimum 
बिकॉज द ग्रेडियंट बिकॉज द ग्रेडियंट एट दैट पॉइंट दैट पॉइंट इज जीरो एंड इफ यू लुक एट द साइन डायग्राम ऑन द नेबरहुड ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड यू सी द साइन ऑफ द ग्रेडियंट इज नेगेटिव ऑन द राइट साइड द साइन ऑफ द ग्रेडियंट इज पोस्टेड सो ग्रेडियंट चेंजेस साइन फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पोस्टेड सो देर फोर वेन द ग्रेडियंट चेंजेस साइन फ्रॉम नेगेटिव टू पोस्टेड वी कॉल दैट एज लोकल मिनिमम and we'll do the double derivative test also at this point double derivative will be posted or we can we'll do that <coughs> double derivative will be posted now the point s if you look at point s s is global maximum global maximum why because the greatest value y on the entire domain it has the greatest value y no other point is greater than this point greatest value greatest greatest value of y on the entire domain on the entire domain some points which we should keep in mind some points some points which we should uh, which we should keep in mind some points which we should keep in mind we will see local maxima or minima is also the global maxima and minima in many functions some points in many functions in many functions local minima minimum local maximum are same as that of global minimum and global maximum global max for example very common example y is equal to x square in many books we find this example if you look at the shape of this curve is like this so here x is equal to it passes through the origin if you draw the curve like this it passes through the origin x axis y axis and the gradient on the left side left side of the curve is negative 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 positive 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 and the gradient at x is equal to 0 is 0 as well now this is Uh, the only point on the entire domain which is minimum as well as um, the least minimum point and this is the local minimum as well as the global minimum point number 2 first derivative test to identify the local maxima or minimum means whether the curve have a local maxima or minimum means the turning points maximum or minimum points first derivative first we will learn the conditions let's say for example we have a curve like this opening upward and let's say this is the point x is equal to a x is equal to a so on the left side of the curve if you look at the gradient is negative on the right side the gradient is positive and at this point the tangent is horizontal and the gradient is gradient is zero so therefore if this condition is satisfied if this condition is satisfied means for for x less than a f dash x or f dash is is negative and and for x greater than a means on the neighbor right side of a and the left side of a so f dash uh, actually f dash at that point not at x at that point is posted so therefore we'll say this is the condition of the first derivative test according to which we can confirm that the curve has local minimum the curve has local minimum so the curve has local minimum therefore 
the curve has local minimum minimum at x is equal to a at x is equal to a now the second part of this suppose we have this type of curve opening downward like this way and this point is x is equal to b x is equal to b now on the right side of the curve on the right side of the curve gradient is negative on the left side gradient is positive and the tangent at this point is horizontal so therefore f dash is equal to 0 at this point now for for x less than b f dash at b you see f dash at b is positive and for x greater than b means on the right side of b the gradient is negative so if this condition is satisfied we say the curve has local maximum so the curve has curve has therefore the curve has curve has local maximum local maximum local maximum and minimum they are also known as turning points so these two conditions with the help of first derivative test now if we can check with the help of second derivative test as well now second derivative test what is second derivative test second derivative test second derivative test now same curve let's say we have like this and the point is x is equal to a horizontal um, if if for um, uh, first derivative should be zero first of all f dash will be zero even we are checking with the second derivative first derivative at that point zero and double derivative should be double derivative at that point should be greater than zero so if this condition is satisfied at that point therefore the curve has a local minimum curve has local minimum local minimum and if we have this type of shape opening downward the point is x is equal to b and f dash is 0 at that point at that point <coughs> f dash at b is equal to 0 means gradient at that point is 0 obviously and f double dash at b is negative so therefore f is having maximum point having a maximum point maximum point at the point at point maximum point at x is equal to b maximum point at x is equal to b so these are the two tests now one point arises here if in case our double derivative test fails f dash at a is equal to 0 and f double dash a is equal to 0 means double derivative test fails if means means double derivative test fails then we come back to first derivative then we check with the first derivative with the first derivative test with the first derivative test with the first derivative test and we identify whether it's a local maximum or whether it's a local minimum.